Good morning, everybody. Well, it's Tuesday, which means we're going home today. Grant is a lifesaver, and he's driving us to the airport at noon. But I have made some promises, and also, well, I need to anyway, need to get some, some of this awesome Chicago popcorn called Garrett's Popcorn. They have like a famous Chicago mix, which is just cheddar popcorn mixed in with caramel popcorn. We need to pick up a few batches of that. I forgot to earlier on the vacation. Plus it's fresh, like you want to get it as fresh as you can to bring back to Florida. So I'm literally driving downtown right now to go to Garrett's because it opened up 15 minutes ago. Driving back, won't have much time, maybe 20, 30 minutes to freshen up before we head to the airport. So this is my fun little venture for the morning. downtown I got a quick 15 minute parking spot over there we're right on Jackson in Plymouth John Marshall Law old Plymouth restaurant and right here on the corner okay it's popcorn and just like that my 30 minute uh, commute down here to Garrett's popcorn I came right on Jackson parked on the corner I got my three gallons look at Right there, the blue line, and that's, uh, I forgot the artist's name, I'd have to have Sarah, but I need to get back to the south side, even though I love the city in the morning. Look at how sunny it is. The city in the morning and how cold it is. This is like the Chicago I thrived in. Going to school, going to work, walking around by my apartment on the north side, but I had to get back because we got to get to the airport. There's my car. I'm a troublemaker, and this is a a uh, coffee joint that used to be by my old apartment that's not anymore, and I had to pick some coffee up. Uh, Grant bought a new car, what, like six months ago? August, yeah. In August, and uh, there was a little incident with a fence, and his rear view mirror kind of got messed up. It was my fault. And he just, <laughs> I like the honesty, honesty is key. Um, and this weekend it, it, the top popped off. Like the cover, like the sh plastic shell popped off. And he's like, so the bottom part where the wire and the turn signal are keeps falling. So you might have to hold it. We're going like 65 and it's like 10 degrees out. So it's, a, it's freezing and we're on the highway and it just drops. And Christina and Grant like keep this car immaculate. So there's like no junk laying around <laughs> to fix it. Sarah finds a garbage bag. So this is what I did. I mean, because like the, the bottom piece is on the other side, but it's the light, so that'll do for now. Grant's like, that'll last a couple months. Yeah. <laughs> God, I'm fine with that. Let's see what Casina says. Oh, I can't wait. I just Snapchat it. Alrighty, I've been Jones and for Chinese food. And honestly, I don't know of any good Chinese places in Orlando. So if anybody knows, I mean, besides the China Pavilion, um, I got pineapple chicken, orange chicken, and noodles, and Peter, I think, is gonna go get some pizza. Since we didn't get any deep dish while we were here, I decided to get some in. Deep dish in the shower. It was like thick dish, it wasn't deep yeah. dish. This is supposed to be air, airport deep dish by Reggie's, Reggio's, so we'll see. How's your, uh, your machu walk? And after this, back to peanuts and cherry tomatoes? For real. For reals? Yeah. We were doing, we, I think we did, I think we call the vacation a success. Yeah. Because through, we, we went like, halfway through and finally broke, and even then we weren't too ridiculous. We were still conscious. I just haven't run you know, in almost a week. But I'll run tonight. You'll go back. Yeah, I'll get back into it. Are you so excited to go see Eve? Yeah. Sarah's mad at American Airlines because they bamboozled one of our bags and we had to pay to get it checked, but that's the life. Well, we're going to get our puppy and we're going to Disney World, right? Good. High five. We're not going to Disney World. No surprise. Maybe we'll bring Eve to Fort Wilderness tonight. Well, cause a keyboard. <laughs> Sarah's looks like a Dementor right now. <laughs> this is the longest walkway to a plane ever. Well, that 
first mile over the intercom just got real. They were like, oh, we're, we're back home. Yeah. We're in Florida. We made it safe and sound. And we were greeted by a beautiful sunset. We were. And then the person on the intercom was just like, our plane is fully loaded. We're waiting for you talking to the one more guest. To, we're closing the air door in 10 seconds. You better be here. <laughs> like, threatening? But we're back. Now we just need to get home and get Eve. Well, we are home. Let me turn on some lights. We're at home. We've got our baby. Hey, you remember the camera? Hi, Hi, we're home. She was she was so excited when we walked into our, our our friend's door. She was like freaking out, like spazzing, seeing me. Then she saw Sarah and like I was holding her and she like wanted to jump out of my out of my life to jump to Sarah. And then like when we got out of so her water bowls in there. But she'll probably need her food bowls in here. When we got out of the car, like she already knew. She was super excited to get in the car. Like she saw the car and was like trying to jump in there. And then when we got out of the car, she knew we were back at the apartment complex and she's running around. And now she like, there's the first time I've ever seen her run towards the door with like such ambition because she usually doesn't want to come in from a walk. Um, I just feel so glad. Like I just like feel just to not be out of like the weird hustle and bustle that we've like the regimen we've been going in, you know? Right? Well, there's like, there's peace in a routine. So. Yeah, and we've been out of our routine. Excuse me. So it's like, it's exciting to do that. But we have, so we're gonna stay home tonight. It's Magic Kingdom's closed already. We saw the fireworks. The most, the, well, Magic Kingdom has a has a um a ticketed Disney After Hours event tonight. The other parks are closing. That cuts technically open for like another 20 minutes, but we're gonna spend the night with Eve, do some laundry, unpacking, get ready, and just spend time with our girl at home. Okay, so we're kind of settled in now. Like, we got our toiletries out, started some laundry, Eve's set. We didn't unpack everything, but we'll, we'll just start it step by step. But we went and got in the mail, and something came today because it released today. And I want to show you because it has to do with the new vibe of like what we're going to do for, try to do for all of our vlogs, but also like what I discussed, I'm going to discuss with you guys. And that is. The new Gary Vanderchuk book, Crushing It. How great entrepreneurs build their business and influence and how you can too. So this is literally a whole book. Hey, look at us, look at us. Look at you guys, super cute. Super cute, but he just talks about all the different ways to, what you should and shouldn't do as a YouTuber, as a small business, as a big business, as an influencer. There's a bunch of like other YouTubers that reference on here, like I wanna read Casey's. Here's Casey Neistat who was like the original daily vlogger that I like fell in love with. The name Gary Vee has become synonymous with motivating an entire generation. No one understands the power of social media better than Gary because none of what he preaches is theory. It's an understanding born from his deep experience in business and in life. I am gonna start reading this potentially tonight if not tomorrow. Well, it's been about what, an eight day adventure, yeah. but we're all back together. Back at home. Look at she's so sweet. She looks tired. Yeah. Sure, she had a rambunctious day with those doggies. Yeah, but we both have to get back to work tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But that also means we're both going back to the parks tomorrow. Woohoo! So thank you for following our Chicago adventures. As always, we really appreciate it. <laughs> Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, The Brookout Project. Mm -hmm. We're super excited that we're six months old and we're super excited about. The next six months. The rest of the months. All, yeah. of, all the months, not just the next six. But. She's like longingly looking at the Yeah, she's like, I haven't Diaper seen that in a week. Oh, look. Oh. She's so sweet. She's got her eyeballs closed. <laughs> it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.